Hey church, uh, I wanted to take a second to introduce you guys to my our new sister Alexa and give her a chance to kind of share what God's been up to in her life the last couple of months. Yeah, so the past couple months have been absolutely amazing since accepting Jesus into my heart. Um, my journey has been crazy and the changes have been enormous, um, but pretty much my stage of rebellion started in college. I just decided to completely run away from everything that I knew. I was raised in the church, but I never had that personal relationship with God. And as soon as I went to college, I started using a lot of drugs. I started drinking a lot and just making very, very poor decisions um, that affected my health and affected a lot of my relationships, especially with my family. Um, and there was this woman named Anna Kilby, as some of you probably know her, but she is a part of the No Place Left movement in Boone. And she reached out to me because I was her waitress, actually, at Capone's Pizza. And she shared the three circles with me. She prayed over me, got my number, and for months she just reached out to me, praying over me, sending Bible verses, and just saying, you know, how are you doing once a week? And about three months ago, I got into a pretty bad car accident that was due to taking drugs. And I almost died. Um, and I just know that that night, the Lord saved me for a reason. And I ended up having to be taken to the hospital. I called my parents and told them everything that happened in those past four years of me being at college. And they accepted me with loving arms, had me come back home and live with them. And then my second day of being back home, I actually reached out to Anna and I said, hey, I accepted Jesus in my heart and I don't know where to go from here, but I wanna get plugged in in Raleigh. And she introduced me to Tiffany, who then you know, brought me into her circle. I met a whole lot of other people who are part of the No Place Left movement. And since then, in the past two months, I've just been trying to start my own ministry in my neighborhood, um, going to my friends' neighborhoods, sharing the gospel. And that's not something I would ever have done. I was never a confident person. And now I have no fear with facing rejection or with facing people who just want to know more about God's love. And that's the most important thing to me is knowing that people understand that God is graceful and that he doesn't want you to carry shame and that you're forgiven. And that for me is the biggest message in itself. Yeah, amen. Isn't it good what God's doing even in the midst of even in the midst of a pandemic? So thanks for listening and hope to see you guys soon.